Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and it's animal delivery today and I haven't forgot so <laughs> like last week I completely forgot it's animal delivery day so uh, we're going to go around, we've got to get stuff ready, I'm going to go turn all the lights on as soon as delivery comes we've got to, we've got to go through, check all the animals, see how they're doing, see how they're, if they're okay and then um, I've got a couple of bits and bobs I've got to do on that tank we built yesterday -da -da -da. so I've got another light that's coming, we've got to put that in so, uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring that bell for me, and I shall see you in a bit. Do me morning checks, I didn't turn the lights on yet, and uh, I found the problem. There'll be a wet floor. Wah -ha -ha. So, we me find out what it's coming from. I don't think it's from the tank. I think we're okay with that. It's, all, it's completely dry under here. If I follow the wet, if we follow the wet, next thing is the filter. And yesterday I did take it apart and uh, give it a full clean. Uh, so I think that's weeping. Ah, yeah, it is. I found it. It'd be a weeping. That's what it is. So, we we'll have to take the lid off, clean the rubbers, make sure it's sealed right, and then... Uh, Carry on. To do that, we've got to turn it off. Where is she plugged in? I think, that, I think that worked. Yep, she's off. So now we need to lock off the down pipes. Lock them off now so we don't just drain the tank. Then we're going to open these if we can. Ooh, weepy, weepy, weepy. Yeah, it's probably going to get a bit more wet before it gets drier. <laughs> oh, I might have to properly take it out. I'm not sure. Let's see how we get on. Okay, so one of the ends came off when I was messing with it. So I just had a big dump of water come down. So that wasn't good. So I'm going to have to try and get the lid off. I'm going to have to clean this up. And then uh, try and get a bit more closer to it. It's been a bit of a pain at the moment. This is what was sealing it. So this goes in that little groove. That goes around and seals it. So what we've got to do is put it back now. I've took it out to clean it. So we shall push it back down. Nicey, nicey. A little bit more with the old screwdriver just to make sure it's where it's meant to be. Me and my old clobber hands can't reach it get into the little tiny spaces screwdriver has to do it for me so there we go hopefully the problem I had I think the water was coming out of there so I just don't know I don't know so I'll put it back together see if it's worked or not I'm halfway through the filter but just had more someone brings me more gifts we've got the new fern nice big plant we've got a little tiny aloe vera. We've got a little tiny special cactus. I can't remember what they said it was. But that's really cool. And we've got this one. Wah ha ha. Na 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 na. <laughs> Look at the size of it. So loads of great plants. So you can go around and sort out where they're going to go. We're really jungly. Getting this real jungle theme going. So we get really planty. And uh, see how we get on. Just gotta find spots for them, that's all we gotta do now. Main problem was those hoses on those little connections. They were just leaking like mad. So, we got a big puddle at the moment because it was just leaking, leaking, leaking. So, I had to just quickly fix it while it was leaking. So, uh, it's running now, which is good. So, I think we've gotta to top up the tank a bit and then uh, mop up the floor. The animal delivery has arrived, but I've had to go for you know, I have to go through it first. Um, we've had a little bit of a mishap. We didn't order him. He's come free. So I did ring the suppliers. I said, I want to make sure that you know you sent me this. I didn't order it. I haven't got room for him. If I'd have had room for him, I wouldn't have said anything. <laughs> but I ain't got room for him. And it's not right to take advantage of their mistake when I've got nowhere where it's going to hurt the animal. So we're going to send him back. He's going to go back. He's going to find his forever home there. And then uh, we can sort it out from there. So we've got a nice little transport container for him we're going to put him in here like this and then uh, he's going to go back 
We didn't pay for him and we've got nowhere to put him. So uh, we have got another bit of dragon, kind of sport it a little bit. So don't worry, we are still getting a bit of dragon. Um, just not this one. It's unboxing time, everybody. So we've got two big boxes. And we'll want what? There we go. <laughs> so we're all got a big delivery today. So we're going to go around, get it all out, see what we've got, and then go from there. I have to pause it because my sandwich come. <laughs> so, okay, let's start with the first one more dark. That's a bit better. What? <laughs> it's all changing. Camera, sort yourself out. You have one job. One job. The little have to do, it's having a fit. So, what's he doing? Oh, I can't deal with this. I think that's got it. Staying the same colour. Okay. Okay, it's the same colour. So we have the first box. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I've got a bag. What could possibly be in the bag? Only an axolotl. We've got some nice big axolotls in. So because the other little ones are going to have to hang around a little bit longer. I made sure I've got some big ones in that we can sell a bit sooner. So, let's see what we've got in this one. We've got two in this one. Hope nobody's at anybody though, we've all got our limbs. All got our limbs, so we're doing well. So I've got to separate them quickly, we don't want to meet each other. So we'll put them in there again. We can get them sorted in a minute. If I stop changing colour. Still, still all over the place. So, first one is already out the box. We've got a little horse for your tortoise. Another little horse, another little tortoise. So, let's start with the bogos. Kind of white again. So, in here we have our giant Asian mantis. Should be really nice that one, it should get really big. So we've got that nice mantis. Oh, this one looks stunning. This is the Yohanna. Yohanna? It looks like it's already adult. Just look at that. Looks like it's a little male, or maybe a, a small female. But look at the markings on the back. You see? Look at them. Just wow. So, then we have our jeweled. Jeweled mantis. Oh, we have another jeweled. And then we have another Yohan Yohanna. Y U N N H A Y. Yohan Yohanna. I can't say it. But that one's running underneath on the top of there. We get a better look at them when I put them in their tanks, which we've got loads of really cool ones, so we'll be able to put them in them. Let's see what else we've got in Alice's box. What did he order? So we have citrus, no, uh, rainbow tiger, bearded dragon. Look at the size of him. He barely fits in the box. Barely fits in the box. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. So they did send me two. So, but I ain't got room for two. And uh, I'm not having the animal suffer. So I can make a couple of quid. It's not worth it for the animal. So uh, nobody else over there. We've just got these last three. So in here are the smallest little red-eyed tree frogs I've ever seen. Who is this? His little buddy's next to him. His buddy is brown. I don't know why his buddy is brown. But they seem to be doing okay. So we get them sorted in a bit. They're going to go in one of the tanks. So we'll, we'll put them back in here. And then we've got two nice ones. So we've got another albino hog nose. 
tiny bit bigger than our last one if I had to be pick anything. Really, really nice. Not as skitty, not as bitey, and not as hissy. So that might be good for us. And then we've got our piece de la resistance. Another first for the shop. Albino bull snake. She's in there, she's in there. Got a nice albino bull snake. So really, really cool. Oh, you can just see her in there. There she is. So we've got her to sort out again today. So that is everybody new. So I think we've done really well. So we're gonna eat me Sambo, put the animals away, get everybody sorted. And then I won't be having it. I'm going to try and fit the whole video in today, but I am closing the shop at three o'clock. So I've got to go for me uh, second COVID job. So uh, I might do a little video on that so you can see what we do and that for me second one. And then uh, how and we see how bad it is because I've had the Pfizer job. So the Pfizer one, the first one's going to be the. Um, well, I've had to have the Pfizer one because I'm allergic to penicillin and penicillin's in the other one. So the. Um, in the Pfizer one, the first one's meant to be the, the less, less uh, making you feel sick, and the second one's meant to make you feel a bit bleh. So uh, that's why I've booked the rest of the day off. So uh, I'll let you know how I feel. I might do a little video on it, but I think today it's just going to be a little bit in the shop, setting up the animals, and then we'll probably finish for the day. So let's start with going in the axolotls in. So we've got this is, there's the two in here, so we have to separate off these at some point. So they can go in here for now, but they will be getting separated. That's the one, yeah, the one has had his arm eaten. So I'd, at some point, it looks like it's growing back. I don't think it's happened in the bag, but, but they do regenerate, so it's not the end of the world. Um, so we get the other one, he can go in the other tank, and then we let them acclimate, and then I can separate the one once they've finished. So uh, there we go. There's that, uh, they're a good, Good size this time, about four inch, I'd say. Three to four inch. No, I'd say three inch, I'd say three inch. Tortoise, he's a nice easy one. He just goes in with his buddies. So, uh, do, 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 do. I believe we've got a tortoise. I believe I'm taking one and delivering it tonight. So, uh, just, he's getting, he's going to be losing it. They're getting a friend and then they're losing a friend. To go to his forever homes, so they're not really losing a friend. Hello, buddy. You are very nice and crisp with your colours, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, my mate. How are you today? You doing okay? I've noticed the newest ones that have been coming, I've got these really cool markings on their legs. They've got like white stripes and black stripes. Really, really nice. There you go, my mate. In you go. Have some fun. Next, we've got our first little snake -o. We've got the little hog nose, the little albino. So well, I've set up a nice little enclosure. So let's get her out, put her in, see what she's like. She seems to be really nice. You're not strikey or hissy or anything, are you, darling? No, you nicey pie. Give me a sec, let me get it open. There we go. Hello. What? You made me jump. I thought you was going to get me. I thought you was going to get me. You made me jump. There you go, my lovely. You're a little bit cold. I'm a little bit cold. You missed the door. You missed the door. There she is, all settling in. We're going to let her chill for a couple of days and then we'll try and give her a feed. There she is, she's got a high, got a water bowl, got a little bit of decor just to make it look a little bit less empty. And then we'll give her a check over as soon as she has some feeds and stuff like that, we'll get her in a proper viv. This next one is another new one for the shop. We've never had one of these in before. We've never had in a ball snake. So we're going to get him out, have a look at him, see how he's doing And then uh, get him set up So I'm going to cut all the tape And then uh, we'll get him set up in his little tanker Okay I wonder what he's going to be like Is he going to be nice? Is he going to be bitey? Is he going to be scared? What do you reckon? Hello mate Hello, you are beautiful Wow Look at that snake Hello, you are beautiful, yes you are, look at the markings on your head, 
And you pretty, you're gonna be nice. You're gonna be nice. Come on, man. Whoa! <laughs> I'm guessing you're not nice. You've got your mouth open and everything. Okay, let's lift you up into here. You're okay. You're okay. No need to be scared. We're not going to hurt you. So can we lift you up with this? No, you're going to slide off that. So what we do is we put that there so you can't bite us. And then we'll pick it up. There he is. Hello? Hello? How are you? Don't bite me. Hello? Is it a bit scary, is it? So it's an albino bull snake. First bull snake we've ever had in the shop. But just look at those markings. And next to the tail, it's completely different. And yeah. See, you was just scared before, wasn't you, my lovely? Yeah, you was just scared. Wanna go in your tank? Come on then. Let's move this out of the way. Your tissue. Here you go then, my mate. I know you're a little bit cold, aren't you? Yes. There you go, in you go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Got a nice little setup now for the dot for the red-eyed tree frogs. So we can get them out now, try and get them in here without losing the frogs because it's not this. They don't say opening a box of frogs without it being a pain in the bum. So we've got a box of frogs. Let's get our box of frogs. Oh, oh, box of frogs. So, okay, froggos, you need to go in the tank for me. So, let's see if we can get it open. And then we've got to try and convince them that the tank is the place to be. There's nowhere else better than the tank. The grass is not greener, mate. It's not, I promise. Okay, so they've got no lid on. Hello, froggies. How are we? Okay, can we whoop? Can we go in, please? No, it's like a stay there. Yep. Come on then, everybody. Wiggles. Oh, we got one jumped out. One jumped out. That's what we like. We got the second one going for it. No, no, no. Wrong way, wait. Oh, okay. We're in. We're in. We got one on the plant, one on the bush. So let's quickly, quickly, quickly shut them in. Okay, so we got one down here, and we got one right there. Ickle, ickle, baby froggos. Oh, he's good jumped. He's jumping. He's jumping. What a cool little frog. So we'll let them settle in. And we can give them some food. Maybe tomorrow once they've settled in. Our bearded dragon that's come in today is going straight to his forever home. So uh, they're doing the settling in and all the checks, and if they have any problems, they're just gonna let me know. Because it's a, uh, they've, they've had multiple before and stuff like that, so they, they wanted to have it straight away. So they, um, they're gonna do that, and then any problems, they're just gonna let me know. So now we're on to the axolotls. So uh, they've had a couple of dips now, so I think we're pretty close to re releasing. So we'll, uh, we'll get it all sorted, do a couple more dips, then I'll release them and I'll show you. It's these two first, remember they're not staying together. We still gotta, so what I might do is we'll let the one out, then I'll move the bag over and we can acclimate the other one in the other type of water. So I think that's what we'll do. One is a little bit more lutistic than the other because the one has still got some uh, black on him and the one is completely white. So let's see if we can get to come out. Are you going to come out, mate? We only want one of you to come out. Just one, please. There you go. So that's the more lutistic one. So he's got more of the markings on his head and stuff. So uh, we're gonna pick this one up and put him into here. There we go, and we'll acclimate him into here and then we'll be lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm gonna add some more sand in as well. So uh, it's not as, it's very, very fine gravel. So I don't see there being a problem. 
I just think it would be a little bit better if we had some more sand in there. So we leave him for now. We still got acclimate. We got this one. This one's on more of the sand, you see. So uh, come on, little buddy. You're ready to go. Come on, then. Where am you? Come on, out the bag. Come on, little buddy. There we go. Wee. Happy little axolotls. Back over here to give it a double check and we are nice and dry so i'll be able to turn all the lights on now we haven't we've got to worry about any of the electrics so we can get all the lights on get everybody happy and then we can crack on Wahaha. we go so when we're doing all that stuff it's drain the tank a little bit so we're going to top up little uh, big betty now so i've got the hose in there i've dechlorinated it so we just need to put some more water in. to admit pre-treating is probably not the best option but because I've only got this tiny little hole, I physically can't use buckets. So if I use buckets, I'd get more over the tank than I would in the tank. So this is the only way I can physically do it. So we, de we pre-dechlorinate. So I work out, estimate how much water I'm gonna be adding. Then I pre-treat to that. You can't overdose with dechlorinator, so that's good. So we do that then, and we're gonna top her up. We get it right up nice and high. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll crack on with the rest of the day. But I have got to finish early, remember, because I've got to get my jab. We'll do afterwards, we do some little work with our baby axolotls. So uh, we've got to do a water change, we've got to do a siphon, and then we've got to feed them. So uh, we'll crack on with that today. What I've been doing, I've been siphoning using just the airline, because we've only got a very small amount of water. So I've been going round, I've got it, got it going, and I've just been going round, sucking up any of the leftover bloodworm and stuff like that. So now it's reasonably clean. So uh, what we're going to be doing is we put in a mix of tap water and uh, RO water to lower the pH for us. I usually do half and half of them so it's nice fresh water for them. Um, and then we've still got to separate some off because a lot of them have gone into each other's tanks and stuff like that. So uh, we need to do some separation. But they are getting really big. Look at the size of the bellies on them. Look at the size of your belly. Nice big bellies, that's what we like. They've been eating well, they have. Oh, I missed a couple of blood worms with you. Look at the bellies on them, they're doing really well. Really, really well. So, I think, ah, uh, so let's see where we've got everybody. So our, our, our logistics have moved over. So the logistics have moved over. The albinos move there. The albinos swapped with the lutistic. And then the two normals are still in the same tank. So it's it's the lutistics and the albinos that are causing all the troubles. So uh, let's get them moved across. And then uh, we'll be all sorted out. Then I can top it back. So this needs to come up a little bit. Okay, so we want you to go that way. Yep. You to go that way. Yep, you to go this way. Bit more. No, wrong way. No, oh, and again. Yay! So where's the other... I've been... Oh, no, you've gone the wrong way. That way. No, you've gone the wrong way. No, 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 no. Go that way. Okay, go back under it. Okay, he's underneath, so we can push this back down. Okay, so he's there, so we need to lift up this side. You go that way. Bit more. That's it, go under. There we go, so this can come down. Yeah, everybody's clear? Yes. Okay, so that is down now, so the statistics are back where they're meant to be. So now we just need to separate these two albinos. So he's in there, yes. So we need to separate these. We lift this one up. He'll scoot over and put it back down. So there we go. There's everybody back in their own little ones. So let's get some blood worm and feed them. Filling up a fish tank is best to keep an eye on it. I literally just, just caught it before it overflowed. Oh, so what I've managed to do, clever old Alex, I'm using the hose to siphon it. I've unplugged it that end, dropped it down, and it's backing it out. So uh, hopefully... We should see more and more little air bubbles. 
as it starts to drain. So, the check is still draining. Yep, it's coming out the pipe still. So, siphoning it off slowly. So, uh, yeah, best to keep an idea, an eye on what you're doing. I'm terrible for leaving stuff on and almost flooding the shop. Try and do 10 things at once. Okay, so let's give them a little bit. Come on, where's my stuff? Come on, mix it up a bit. There we go. There's a couple in there for him, we don't want to go too mad. Couple in for you. There we go. Couple for you. Couple for you. Couple for you. Some for you, sir. There we go, and then some for you, sir. There we go. So we've still got some left in the bags. So uh, they have got full belly, so I'll be surprised if we catch them feeding today. I can actually get a shot of them. There we go. So we leave them with their food and we go feed this to somebody. Baby convicts! Hello! Well, you're not a baby anymore, am you? You're big. So you want some bloodworms? Whoa, look at that. Bosh, 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 bosh. They love the food, they do. They're growing boys and girls, aren't they? They're growing boys and girls. So they want loads and loads of proteins. So they should go around and munchy munch. That's the biggest one we got. That's Big Betty. There she is, munching away. Absolutely stunning. Just had the message, they're on the way to come and collect the dragon. So uh, we'll get him sent off to his forever home and then um, I'll shoot off and get my jab. So we'll end, after we do that, we'll end the video and then we'll, uh, I might do one of what happens when we have a jab. So we wait, I think. Yeah, it's siphoned itself down to the right level. So we're not flooded anymore. So we can take the hose out and put it back. So that worked really well, actually. I was a little bit nervous. We could do with it being a tiny, tiny bit lower if I was being pedantic. It's nice, so if I show you, it goes back in. So it's nice, see how we got, we've just got the water going straight in. I like it doing some bubbles. Like that. If it stays like that, I'm happy with that. Go just a little bit. Yeah, it's disturbing the surface tension. That's going to add oxygenation into my water, keep the fishes happy and breathing. So that's going to work okay. So we can take the hose out now and put it back. I think Snappy needs a top up, so we're, we're top up Snappy. He's running a little bit lower. You need enough water to cover your tushy, don't you, Snappy? You've got to have a wet tushy. You've got, look, 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 look. Hose is having a spaz. So we make sure nothing's getting another can lights are getting sprayed on. Oh I think they are. There we go. That's better, that's better, that's working better. So yeah, you gotta have a we gotta have we make sure he's fully submerged because we don't want any dry bottoms. But like it's a nice wet bottom we do. So, so I've noticed he tends to stick his bum up in the air. I don't know why. I don't know if that's a snappy turtly thing to do, but if he's having a bit of a paddy, he sticks his bum up in the air. So we don't want him to get a dry ball. Snapper, is that enough water? Is you officially wet enough? What do you think? You got a hitchhiker? There's a snail on your shell. Where did you get a snail from? He's keeping your shell clean. I can't see that being a problem, can you? You got a little hitchhiker. Giving him a clean. There we go, I think his bum is sufficiently covered. So uh, we turn the hose off and we can put it all back. Forever home time, so his customers just pulled up. Well, he's forever homeowners. So we've got to get him out the box. 
Check it. He's been nice and warm, kept warm. So there he is, doing really well. Last thing, to, last thing today. We get to our re release our last little buddy. How you go, mate? How do you go? Whee! So that's everybody released, everybody sorted, all done and dusted. Okay then everybody, I'm afraid that's all the time I've got for today. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring that bell for me. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. And if you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.